people are like, man, you just need a kid. And I'm like, are you sure? I think but you maybe, got a few, man. I think you got like a two or three steps before that. You got the house already. Got the house. That's, you got the dog got already. The, dude, the house is like. I think those are the steps. You like, got the house. house you just dog. need the kid to put the, you know, like. I now know. I just need kid. You would get a crazy dad buff. I know. I know for a fucking fact you would. I would use that kid for views. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome back. James, shut up! Quiet on the set. Welcome back to another episode of The Best Podcast on the Interwebs. The Fly The Fly Cast. Did you ever get 100,000 an episode now? Welcome back. Damn. That was a lie. Yeah, that was a lie. Wait, are are our views... Wait, shut up. Hold on. Okay, Pam, Pam has a surprise. Pam said shut up. We have a special. Special. Real special. Real. Oh, he's special. He's special. Aren't we all, Special though? guest <laughs> today on the podcast, <laughs> and he brought a gift. He brought a gift. Dude, it's crazy. I also have a gift for you, but I didn't the bring it. G G C S. I'm actually glad because yours is so much better. Championship trophy. I think we've talked about this maybe a few times. A few times. I really look at that. I think trophy. I made some jokes about it, like I cared, mm -hmm. but I really didn't care. Yeah, and right. I want if you, you want care. this, he cared. I kind of wanted it. Well, first of all, but Mike should tripping. have that because Mike would do anything for that fucking trophy. Oh, Mike probably ordered his own. Yeah, he might have ordered his. Own. I hope he did. He deserved it, man. But where can I put this? Put it right here, oh, man. Yeah. You, you oh, also, Mike texted me and asked if we want to be in his corner for a battle in Houston. Really? Yeah, but I don't. I did, I be, was in the middle funny. of something. That'd be kind of funny. Look at he that. He just fucking... gets three yod. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like <laughs> we're we're trying to we're like those awkward hype men in the back. <laughs> like ah, ah, but no, no one's fucking. That's funny. The crowd's not going. I with did it. I did name her by the way. What's her name? Named her. Her name's Gigi. GG. 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 I like that. I like that. Yeah. So if you guys name. don't remember, uh, back in November, the boys competed in uh, the kickoff series called the GGCS, which was 16 teams full of content creators, pro players, s and stars, um, and the likes. And it was for $150,000. And Maniac, Homage, Mike P, the battle rapper, and skies slash grappy scrap no. slash who was your SD? blast blast i couldn't remember blast we had a few um, different force ended up taking the entire tournament which was somehow some way so somehow, some way, and then it, i came into the office or i you sat it on my stream over there yeah and then i came in one day and it was so just it was gone, gone. Pam has been, it's been sitting in Pam's setup. I think that's how it went. And then I was like, what the fuck? I was like, Pam fucking took it. And I, I really don't even remember. I don't know if like Pam texted me, told me he took it or something. But I was like, damn, Pam took the fucking trophy. And then I made a few. I really didn't. I, I cared, but I didn't care. Like, honestly, if you want it, you can have it. I feel, I feel like it means more to him than me. Just leave it on the side. And I don't have... Uh, I mean, I'll find a. I can find a spot to we put it. We can take. We can take. We can put it. We could fit it on one of the shelves. Reality check, and then I actually have another present for this. But I too. honestly, I think Pam earned it. Pam played good. Thanks, yeah. man. Pam played better than I expected. Pam played. You know, there's like the pro. They're kind of carrying. Yep. Then there would always other some other teams would have like the symphony. They would have the person yeah. that's not the pro, so there, but like, be you like, need them to step up. The the methods pro player, then like Bo second, or well, they, that, would, they, would like, yeah, they would they would just have like they would just have like someone like a good a good ex secondary competitive yeah, yeah. play S and D player. And I'm I'm just thinking we have Pam the sniper. Yep. So I wasn't expecting as much Listen, as what I, you did. I won't Pam, Pam gas myself well, up. Attorney. I'm not going to gas myself up. For anything about that tournament because I, I think it was scrap it was a scrappy tournament it was a month long i was i, I learned a lot 
But one thing that I'm really proud of is the te- the original teams that I put together. I think it was damn near perfect. If they had if all the teams had stayed together, it would have been such a fun tournament to watch. And I'm so glad that a team the because the root of every team is the three people and then a pro player yeah. or a yeah. good ass player. A pro player, decent player, high player. And I, and I yeah. I tried to make Cheap it where player. like all the all the teams like like at least meshed well together. Like at least knew of each other or had well, I don't close know. There friends. was Zinni, Bose, Natasha. Okay, but well, that, I don't know if that was no. An, that an wasn't the original team. squad. Yeah, okay. The original squad was Bose. No, no. The original squad was Zin, Jack, Cloaksy, and Nicewig. That was the original squad. Uh, and everyone on that team squad. told me told oh, yeah, me they could play. Yeah. But then Nicewig and Cloak backed out. So then we had and then courage, right? And oh yeah, and then Jack left. Fucking three people on yeah. on one team. That's a pain in the ass. So, well, Jack the, with Jack, he had told me beforehand that he couldn't make the second weekend. But then Jack sent me this long paragraph. It was like, "Yo, I I I love you as a brother, but like, please don't invite me to to Call of Duty tournaments anymore because I don't like saying no to you. But I also am not that person anymore. Like I can't yeah. competing. Like, bro, it's." It stresses me out too much. Does, and I'm I mean, like, I, I, even, I mean, I appreciate the honesty. And then I invited him to another one, and I said, "Just be honest with me. Like, I don't care. Yeah. If you say no, I'm not going to be like Jack didn't play my tournament. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, just tell me no. Like, if we're that close of friends, just be like, fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> I almost, yeah. I almost wanted to say no. Just if you would have said like, no, I would have been pissed. I would have been <laughs> mad. <laughs> you know who did say no? Technically, Bose. Bose. But I mean, if we had Bose, like, I don't think that team. I don't have, think you guys would have no, because Bose wasn't is it wasn't like a hard carry. Bose knows how to play, but like he's been out the scene for a while. Like you, we needed a crackhead, and we yeah. had a crackhead. Yeah, we sc- had multiple crackheads. We did we had multiple we skies. Rot- we rotated the crackheads. What man, skies scrap? Did we have anyone? All of our forests, whenever we played with them, they, they kind of dominated. Yeah, they were disgusting. But I think that like shows what we bring to the, the table. other three brought right. to the table. It, you it, without the chemistry. When we played with skies, dominated. I when we played with scrap, skies, dude. we dominated. It's it's funny because like when I when I get to this part of the year, I already start thinking about like the off season, the the just the in general off season and also the event. <clears throat> but this time of year, like. Instead of thinking about the off season, I'm more thinking about GGCS season like two. Really? Because it was so, dude. It was so much work. So nerve wracking. It was so much work, dude. but it was so fun every week. Just to because yeah. I, what I wanted to do was it every Wednesday night for a month. Every Wednesday night, because then you feel like it's like your your softball league. Yeah. Like oh Wednesday night, that's our match days. Dude, I fucking loved wait. Dude, I loved like. Knowing it's a Monday or a Sunday, just honestly, like just the routine, waking up, going for a walk, get some fresh air, shoot some bots, shower, get some hot coffee, Yeah. wake up to Nick's message, Discord, like, all right, hop on. I'm I'm first in the Discord. Bullshit, talk a little, you know, watch some matches here and there, say we're going to go through private match when really we just play pubs. (laughs) Just, oh, dude, the whole, the whole event was just like. Such a blast, dude! I like just think it's just wild. It was stressful. There's so much. There's so much potential in Call of Duty. There really is, but I just feel like there's so much money that's wasted on. Like I think that when it comes to an when a kickoff tournament, I think we used every dollar to get to squeeze every ounce of like entertainment out because like you, you think about your run how crazy it was you guys went game five round 11 like seven oh, times so many it was times. insane Dude, it, was, it was like it was like out. every series <laughs> i think every series besides the one we like lost to seth yeah you guys in, went. in which seth said well i was gonna say maybe i shouldn't say it publicly but me and seth agreed before the yeah you can say what, it now. what it's was been it? so yeah, long. it's been so long it's been so long <laughs> me and seth what was it called Five, was it the five k? It was the division. It, wasn't, it was division finals. The dude. division, the division fi- it finals. Division yeah, finals. Yeah. It was us versus Scump's team, and me and me and Scump agreed that I think it was the day before we were like, "Hey," or Scump brought it up. He's such a like cheap, 
Like he was like he was like bro he was like bro I, I just wanna make sure I get something out of this tournament. He was like, yo, how about like no matter what, each of us will just split it like twenty five hundred each and I was like I thought about it and I was like I mean, like, we can definitely beat them. Where am I in this conversation? Nowhere. <laughs> it's just fuck? me. me it's only Seth. between you and Seth. What is that all about? Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Seth's teammates You had to hit knows. up Dropped or Daltoosh. You would have had to do something like that. I, I, I don't know him like that. <laughs> At least I lived with you Nate guys. Shot, Nate none, shot. Uh, none of Seth's. I mean, yeah, you would have just had to figure it out yourself. But <laughs> Thanks. Seth was, we were going to split it just like we each get 2,500, and then he ends up beating us. I was like, well, at least I got 2,500. And then we ended up winning the whole thing, and I just haven't brought it up. Because I feel like if I, if I would have won that, if I would have won the divisionals, and then he would have ended up winning the whole thing, I don't think he would have, like, tried to smash that. Uh, you never Would know. he have still tried to get his 2500 for me? You never Because I won the 10K, so I was like, I can't go ask him for, like, 2500 Dude, you know what's crazy? You know the, remember the Pro Sim tournament? The MW2 one? The, yeah, no, the MW3 one. The pro sim, you, you, the Bob Bash one, or is it? No, oh wait, wait, wait the, the pro sim, five one, the one it? where like George killed a BZ at the end. Oh, oh that yeah. was crazy. I I just got the money for that yesterday. I don't know if I, I wonder so if like I, I have to paid. pay out just to I mean so or I, in case anyone wants to know how that works, like like I had to set up like the TST LLC as like a uh, can't remember the word, but. Like basically, an, a tournament organizer, official tournament organizer for Activision. So it was the first time. So it was a bunch of processing that went into it. So I just got the money for the pro sim, the crew, the three v three. I forgot what it was the Cutthroat Cup, and then uh, the crew battle, which was like something that uh, bows or between Seth and and Zuma. So I have to pay out like thirty eight players in the next two weeks. What about, the, what about the Bot Bash? Bot Bash should have already been paid out. Oh, it's a fluke. I wonder yeah. if I got paid because I like didn't that really was check. Through, that was through Boom, so like Boom did everything. Oh, yeah. and then the, the GGCS was through Optic, so Optic did all that. Uh, but yeah. through the other three, for three, those th other three tournaments, it's just me and Atlas. Like, and I'm gonna be in my I'm gonna be in my Wells Fargo account. Like, that's this gotta goes be to, annoying. This goes to Scrappy. <laughs> this goes to <laughs> Shotzi. You what do you? I mean? How do you? Um, <clears throat> whenever you get all the players that can play, do you? Like, do you have a notepad and you're like writing down? Are you on your PC and a oh, dude, like for the to players? try to figure out the teams? Well, it's probably and right spread here. everything out. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's your... probably in there. But really? Yeah. Uh, like you write them all out, dude. My I have so I have two whiteboards in my like upstairs loft and like like what should I use to stream in like my Good office? Loft. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I always forget. Dude, I imagine when every time you talk about your place, or you like know exactly what it's like. I'm like, oh yeah. That's imagine a nice the crazy there. things Pam did in that loft. Anyway, imagine the crazy things Sprat did in that loft. Maybe that's, that's why I want Sprat dog. to stay in the UK so he doesn't have to like come over here and like share what we did over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, it was like so. I would write down heavy hitters. I would write down like Nate Shot, Scump, Myth, like. Uh, Symphony, Aiden. I would, I would write down or people the views? that. I, that I, yeah, yeah. Oh, people heavy hitters or the views? Views. Okay. Shotzi, formal. I'm writing down people that I think would get over 4,000 viewers, and then I think about who would be a pro player unless they are a pro player. So like Scump, you can't put him pro player on his team, but you can pair him with Nate Shot because people want that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I'm just, it, I literally, it feels like what? What's that TV show with all the red lines and he's like looking like a crazy guy oh yeah you know what i'm talking yeah, about oh, uh, always sunny always sunny in philadelphia that and he's like looking at like the the all the newspaper clippings and like uh it looks like a crackhead that's what it feels like to like make a team and making a team for a for the for the off season when it's only four teams is fun because like i'm like who am i pairing shotzi with oh shotzi and scump work great I big timer and scump you know yeah he can't lose with that but like or like the the old like Aches Crim, Aches Crim Clayster. Like that's great. That's all people always want to watch them. Killa comes in and plays with bows. Like of course it's so easy. But for sixteen teams, when you're trying yeah. to when you're trying to get and outside then, of Call of Duty, and then as the weeks go on and one person cancels here. Oh, dude, I don't two know what I'm gonna cancel do. the next day. I don't know what the I'm day gonna do of the tourney. Three, five yeah. pros cancel. I have no idea what I'm gonna do next year.
It's gonna have to be, if you say yes, you have to play and you guys get one sub and the sub has to be approved. Bro, even just thinking about another S&D tourney stresses me out. I don't know how, like, I said that to, I said that to Bose and he was like, oh, dude, I, I, I was like, dude, how do you, like, how did you go, especially back in the day when there was like GBs and stuff, like mm. people, all people did was play S&D all yeah. day, every day. That's all they did. Like how? Dude, that's, that's, it's so like, it's so much on my like heart that it can't be like good. I it's love so it, much dude. stress. Like Bose was like, oh, dude, I love it. Like, I can't, even just playing matchmaking, if I get search, I mean, it kind of, the better I got, the more, like, I feel, like, comfortable and chill I was on the maps. But search and destroy is just fucking stressful. <laughs> Especially that, when it's, like, a big tournament. I, I fucking loved, the like, search and destroy, like, on this game, because, you know, it's all the old maps that I literally know. Oh, yeah. I know these maps more than any map dude. that I think I've known of any maps. So, like... Bro, winning this shit on these maps, dude, yeah. was such a fucking like nostalgic. It was such like a your good inner shit. child. It was one. like a good shit, Austin. You fucking did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and 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 like in the in the whole grand scheme of all this shit, Fuck. like nostalgia, your inner child nostalgia. winning. Oh, the inner child winning, man. It felt good, huh? Yeah, dude. Like, Are you still riding that high? No, I was. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I was dude, like, I was damn, that's like, a long high. I was, I was I riding like it for like was. three weeks. <laughs> for a while. Yeah. I mean, just, I mean, literally imagine when you won your first tournament, though. Like, like this is the closest I'm ever going to get to anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, and it was against good players as well. And in no way am I like ever trying to like downplay it. But like, that's what I'm saying, man. Did you feel you bad to take the trophy? Did you ever feel bad winning against a good friend of yours? Uh, no, like not in Halo. I feel yes. it more as did a, you ever did you feel bad? I feel about it dirty? more as a spectator. I imagine, dude, like because dirty climbing up on that on that tank. Oh, do you remember that? Yeah. And they're good <laughs> friends, like good. Dude, friends. We're homies, man. Like I can't Im if that happened. If like it was George and he climbed up on the tank and I killed him and then we won, I would be so hyped that we won. But part of me would be like, dude, if it's not for that tank. I feel it more <laughs> spectating than I do playing. Like, seeing my friend, or even just, like, not even friends. It's, like, even just people and watching this past Halo tournament, seeing, like, it was, like, Wu Tum. Did you watch it all, the keyboard and mouse player for yeah, Halo? Yeah. It was crap. Wu Tum, I was, like, cheering for their team and then seeing them lose. I felt like I could just, like, feel the pain. And it's just such a bad feeling. And obviously, like, when Optic loses, like, oh, I, I, I feel, I always feel so empathetic for the losing team. Even when Optic wins, I kind of feel bad for the teams we beat. But I don't know. I just always felt like I've Are been... we the best podcast in Halo? We're the only podcast in Halo. People are telling so me you're to not start wrong, a, though. start a Halo podcast. Really? Just because you're the only one doesn't mean, like, <coughs> it doesn't I, void you from being the I best. Know, it I means don't even know what a BXR is, if, but if anything, we that, are. that makes you solidified. I know what an Instasplode is, People, that shit was hype. Lucid uh, Instasplode? Yeah, was the... Lucid Instasplode did somebody? Oh, did he? Yeah, and then... Uh, Walsh did. I forgot. You, you talked to Walsh. He invented that. Yeah, someone, someone was like... I forgot who was... I think it was Bravo was commentating. It was like... Dave Walsh is in the building somewhere. And I was yeah. like, this shit is so hype. Yeah. How was the Walshy around the bar? You guys, did you mention Dude. me at all? Oh, of course. It, you're not. I just I love hearing Walsh say be. my name. <laughs> One <laughs> of the questions of behind the bar, which is like the extension where we like play beer pong. and We ask each other like uncomfortable questions. Was Maniac good? One of them was what was the most overrated, overrated Halo pro? <laughs> I was I was anything but overrated. <laughs> no one gave a fuck about me. And uh yeah, one uh the the COD uh, I so I had to answer in Call of Duty, he had to answer in Halo. So I said, I'm not gonna say aches. And then I was like, aches and through. And then he was like, I don't know who to say. And I was like, just say maniac, man. And he goes, Maniac. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> I might be a little biased, but I think I'm one of the most underrated. I mean, it depends on it, what you're talking about. Gameplay wise, probably. gameplay wise, but like, it's just one of those things where you and Flame joined Optic, and now you guys are the face of Halo. 
<laughs> because some, Halo is in such a weird spot. Somehow, some way. <clears throat> I don't know how, bro. I never. Bro, I'll, I'll imagine never being lethal. Lethal's like, dude, how is Nick? Getting all these viewers. Dude, I don't know. Bro, do you remember these guys playing the qualifiers in the Dude, it was like one of the most hype. So hyped, hype, dude. It was like Bro, one of the most hype. had like 28,000 viewers. So hype, dude. I was so fucking Fucking happy. flame took the fucking viewers because I was too like... Cracked? I didn't like... I was cracked, but like I just did... I've, I've never liked people... I think maybe it's just an anxiety thing my whole life, but I never liked when people watched my screen when yeah. I was playing. It's like you got an invite to a $150,000 Call of Duty tournament and never streamed once. I was, I just, that's didn't. why I took I it, was, to be bro. S and D was already, I was already stressed. I, I just so know if I would have streamed, I would have like just stream your face. Cam. I would have played to not look bad instead, instead of, of just of like, play to win. was it, was it gutty of me to not stream with a, a delay? I mean, bro, no one's going to cheat. That's what I'm saying. Like, Seth I, thought you cheated. Yeah, 100%. that was fucking Why the funny. fuck is he thinking that? Man. Seth is a freak, dog. Seth dies in Apex, and he's like, oh, my God, he's stream sniping. And it, when to I was be playing fair, with Warzone, I don't know what it's like to stream with 10,000 viewers. I'm just like, viewers. yeah. No, I have like, no idea what You're going like. to feel targeted. Dude, I, I tried to do a customs rebirth lobby with my subs. First game. I instantly started fucking hating my tier three subs, dude, <laughs> because they're drop, bro. I'm landing rebirth, and then like they're landing prison, and then I have four teams pushing me. They're all in my chat. Got him. I'm getting so mad at them, dude. I'm just like, I know you guys aren't stream sniping me, but that's I why know. when I, when we do community nights, like. I do stuff for the subs. I got. I don't do stuff where like they play against me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I would do for. I'm like community night. Oh. I like throw like little like, you know, like do little fun things where they play against each other and we watch. Yeah, like that's way better, because they're gonna stream one. Dude, I they're gonna yeah. stream. Yeah, <laughs> like you instantly start to build like this resentment for the next stream. You're just like, yo, you were just like dropping on me last stream, and now like. <laughs> I feel like I would just don't give, fucking give me five, give me fucking ten. Yeah, I would get enraged. I fucking my rage lately in video games is like I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the TRT, then my testosterone is too high or something. But like I've been fucking raging. Been raging. Yesterday was the maddest, and I feel like I said this last week about another time of me being the maddest in a long time. But yesterday, just like playing Halo Infinite, the game felt the game felt heavy. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking kind of getting shit on this this guy that I've that's been teabagging me since the release of Halo Infinite. This matchup against him, he's teabagging me again. I'm playing like shit. He comes and then he comes. I'm like, so we lose. We lose like a close game. Like it was like a it was like a. Um, Empyrean, like, overtime. CTF, like, it went to overtime. we we'll fucking lose. And he just comes in my chat afterwards. He was like, I know you're so mad right now. Or, like, something like that. And I was just in, like, that. I was already mad. Mm. And mm. I was like, he, mm. he might enter my chat right now. Like, I know he's watching this stream. Like, he, he had, like, the op... Like, he used to always rock the optic skin. And he would have the optic name played or whatever those are those are bad and then he comes into my loud. chat <laughs> those are bad moments the 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 words that enter my brain when someone does that bro he comes into my chat Dude. and says I, I know you're so heated right now or something like that and i was like that like i literally said it out loud i was like that actually just made me really fucking mad <laughs> that you just said that and he was just like ha 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 and i'm like dude you're it's like like no, i like you don't I'll, understand you really don't get it dude it, it was so fucking like i start it. thinking about like bad things like i it got like, to like we matched like three three games straight and by the third game he's in my chat i was like like Kevo, you know you're fucking actually awful, right? Like you've been, and I'm just like actually pissed. He was like, "You're bad too," and I was like, "I know I'm fucking bad." And then like I end up getting off a, a little bit after, and I'm just still so fucking mad. I, I had to go to the gym. Yep. They're like, I got off stream. My girl and Michelle was like, "Do you want to go to the gym?" I got this one. Like, <laughs> bro, why is your Michelle voice always like that? <laughs> Do you want to go to the gym? I kind of lay in bed all day. And I was just like, I have to go to the gym. I must go. And I don't know. It's I, I, the gym is such a fucking needed, yeah, part of my life. And I don't. It's I, I I feel like in real life, 
I'm not angry. But something about video games sparks it so hard. And it's always been like that. I've never been like a... Uh, maybe I, as a kid, I was a little angry. But I've always been like more chill and other people get angry about some shit. And I'm just like, what? But in video games, I just get so fucking mad. And it's always been the case. And it just fucking... I don't know how people... I don't know what it is. I, I don't think it's about me like winning or losing. I think it's just like how good I'm playing or something. But it I would have been mad. I'm always so mad. I, I get mad when I care. Sorry to interrupt you. No, you're good. I get I get mad when I like care. And I, and I think how I've combated that for better or for probably for worse is I just stopped caring. You have to. But I tell myself you have that. such a better time when you just when don't I get care, on yeah. when I get like on you, like when I get on stream I like don't care I'll fucking guys we we start off stream losing seven straight yay like I genuinely <laughs> don't care and then it'll be like all right let's like let me step it up and then it'll be a close ass game or so and then I lose yeah. I'm like fuck then I'm like all right let's fucking win this and then start up and then I can't win I'm like oh my god and then it just it I start off my stream not caring. Like, I, I've tried to flip that switch. Like, no one gives a fuck about how well I'm playing on yeah. stream. Yeah. In that tournament, it's so hard like, to in the, flip the switch. In the fucking GGCS tournament, like I, I, like, I would only ever get mad as if, like, I just knew, like, I could have done something, like, literally better. Like, if there was literally just one play, I'm sure everyone's like that. If there's just one play, you're just like, fuck, that one's eating me. Like, dude, I didn't have my stream open for the whole finals, the whole day. That's I just turned joke. it on and I just didn't look at it at all. So like when I knew when I dropped a fucking donut in Karachi in fucking grand finals, dude, I knew I was getting ripped to shreds. Oh, did you? I did drop a donut. Yeah, I was getting ripped to shreds. I just know it. You just That's know it. So wild. Yeah, yeah. You just know it, dude. Yeah. I don't think I've ever streamed. Actually, one time I closed chat, and that's but that's because I was I was playing in this like random. Four team six v six tournament for a hundred and fifty thousand, and I was like, and it was just it was me, dude. I can't even remember who was on my team. It was like a bunch of like huge streamers, and none of them played COD, and it, so it was me who played COD, and then like Aiden on the other team who played COD, and then ten people in the lobby who ne didn't play COD. Oh so I was like, I just have to go as hard as possible like that's all i can really do and luckily aiden had Mizkiff on his team so like he was trash and i didn't have too many i had seagull on my team it was like a uh, overwatch guy and then like shiv who was an apex guy so they could aim and so i but yeah that's the only time i just like close chat in halo 5 i could not scrim with chat open it was so I can imagine, fucking. Dude, yeah, like, okay, but scrimming is different. Like you have you have other things you have to work on. Well, yeah, but it, it's probably different for our Halo team now. Well, I don't know if they stream scrims, but we used to sh stream scrims. I don't. I can't remember if we streamed. I think we streamed like some online stuff. No, but in the beginning, I would just like minimize chat. Like I couldn't have chat open. Bro, it must be so annoying to just like scrim and then have chat fucking backseat your scrims oh it's i'm just like, i'm thinking i'm be better than every single everyone, one of you everyone dude have you ever <laughs> have you ever played a, a a i don't know if it's the same in in halo as it is in cod but like cod competitive like twitter or cod competitive reddit they're all getting slammed all of them are going to get slammed by your average challengers player yeah. like have you ever i mean the skump 1v1 that's that's why it's so funny because you know the, all those guys i mean they're all they're all like optic homies but like that those are your average com, average like uh skill level for like oh the 1v1s at like the tournament yeah, yeah. the 1v1s oh. that like skump does yeah and now shotzi's gonna do one yeah seth you seth those are has the people telling seth how to play seth has to try to die in those like yeah. he has to attempt to let the other person get a kill. And there those are the people Was there any of that? Cuz yeah. wasn't it like if some would you get like $100 per kill or something? I think we had to make it that. Because at first the when the pitch cuz I was a part of like the pitch when that series happened, we were going to put Seth outside 
put them on a put them on a setup have a have a uh, a a poster board that says 1v1 me if you beat me you win 10 grand or you win 50 grand i think was the original and then we were and then we did we ran the first one which it went back down to 10 grand and we were like no one's ever going to beat him yeah seth could play for a 100 days straight and no one would beat him like you would have to fly in a a person yeah. to beat him that's still really good Oh yeah, he, for he'd sure. Be, he'd be but a, also the general public is horrible. Yeah. Like oh, atrocious. Dog, you guys. You guys. Us too. Oh, me like, too. Though. Yeah. It's yeah, not like, like we're amazing. Yeah. I'm just saying, like it, it, the the le- the the skill lo- the skill level is so different. It's crazy. Wait, so now is is it a hundred dollar per it might be a hundred dollars per kill now. I don't know. Raj changed it up. Because you have it's a hundred dollars per kill? Yeah, it's hundred dollars. Now is Man, this hundred dollars of his money or just Fuck like whatever's no. there? Hundred dollars of, <laughs> of bro. Seth, get this question for the record. What makes him so? <laughs> what makes a man so like cheap? Good parents? I don't know. I don't know. Is it something about? Well, his his it's his mom. Yeah. His mom his mom manages his money. Yeah, but he's still just like, his mom taught him well. If you've been feeling a little achy and tense from your recent ranked grind, Veraheal.com is committed to helping you access the medical cannabis you need with ease. The Veraheal platform is super simple to use. Just sign up, talk to a doctor, get approved, and that's pretty much it. Before you queue up your next match, the MMJ card will be on its way, unlocking exclusive access to limitless resources and serious savings all from the comfort of your home. Ready to get started? Visit veraheel.com slash optic. That's V-E-R-I-H-E-A-L dot com slash optic for $30 off your first medical cannabis card. Veraheel.com makes relief easy. Probably. My, My mom, mom tried. Me. I didn't learn anything about money growing up. I wish... Me either. I wish I had. My parents were always scared of money because they both of them, well, my dad especially, grew up with not a lot of money. So, like, he worked for money, but then never taught me anything about money. But no one kinda teaches tried us to. about shit. I remember, I've, I've said this a few times, when Pam first moved into the, um, to the scuff house, like, I saw all of his subscribers, the views he was getting, mm-hmm. and I was like, this dude's like a millionaire. And then, like, his first day there, we went to... I think it was Chipotle and he bought my Chipotle and I was like, let's go. I was like, this is going to be like, Pam's always going to be hooking me up. Like I'm surrounded by money. Like you know exactly I'm broke as shit. <laughs> that was the last time Pam ever, <laughs> that was the last time Pam ever paid for something. For oh, I me. thought you were going to say that he hit, sent me a text and was like, yo, that was six ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay me back. Uh-uh. No, he hooked me up the first time. And then like, bro, scuff I was, house was crazy. I was so broke in the scuff house. Bro, the scuff house, Bro, when I had was... $4,000, like, oh, I was People balling. would try to compare like, optic and phase, like almost like content. Obviously, phase did way bigger numbers. But like, those phase guys were like, they had so much fucking money because of off the views they were getting and, whatever else like i remember when i had like four thousand dollars in the scuff house i was like fuck yeah dude my like, card bounced, I was my part my card bounced three times in the scuff house damn yeah you and, know i, I would have had you guys well i'm not gonna dude that's the weird part about the scuff house is there's two millionaires that live there and then there's me and nick and it's and those are the those are the highest and the lowest and and then there's like you know you've got flame who's got red bull money and then bose who you know ne- i never i don't know as of right now if bose has ten thousand dollars in his bank account or 700 grand yeah. i have no idea it could be both <laughs> yeah. and it's so you never know it was like always apparently it, bose made like decent money during like the mlg tv days oh for streaming. sure mlg tv days were kind of oh I mean, nuts they were kind of nuts and probably got some there's so few from the views of same Being with, with like Will, Nate like, Shot, still pissed I missed that whole wave. Whenever Nate Shot was there, and like that, like 2013 dude, optic wave, you didn't miss the wave. You no, could have hit that wave. 
I you, missed that wave. No, you didn't. That was when it. You, Whenever when you like joined, somehow J Cap has seven hundred thousand follow. <laughs> somehow J Cap has seven hundred thousand followers on Twitter. Like okay, shit yeah, like yeah. that. Like, I get you. I get you. Yeah. There's like there's just that beginning wave. Okay, that way I did. was kind of crazy. Like, even when I first moved into the Scuff House, it was, I mean, I've said this a hundred times, but, like, it was still, it was not instant, instantaneous, for, like, for success viewers, no. at all. Dude, not at all. But followers, bro, when I announced I joined, I think I gained 11,000 followers in 12 hours. Yeah. It was fucking crazy. Yeah, followers now for that, sure. You just, that Bro, just I've had the anymore. same Instagram followers and Twitter followers. <laughs> I saw I saw randomly your Twitter following is, I mean, you're much more like involved in the scene and you're a better, you're much more involved in the scene than, my point is I got 250, like 250,000 followers on Twitter. I swear it was like in 2017. Yeah. I saw yours and you were at like 330,000. I was like, God damn. Yeah. But you're actually way more involved and kind of do your fucking thing. But it was the, I don't, even on Instagram, I think I'd still have like 95K. Do you guys remember yeah. the like, I don't know. I don't even that. know. I don't remember getting 95K. <laughs> like, I think yeah. Yeah, I started my Instagram or something and it just like, boom. That's the amount I have, and then right. just since then, I don't Bro. know what fucking wave it was. Scuff or... house, ju scuff house juice was like, <clears throat> like Stupid. our our scuff house juice was so like fucking nice, dude. Like I could, I did, I would upload on Instagram every day, just random picture before you could photo dump, before you had to do photo dumps and shit like that. Reels, just there's reels, no reels there was no reels, nothing like that, dude. I could yeah. post a random pic, bro, like thirty five thousand likes, just fucking really? cool, Fuck. dude. dude. That's, I mean, that's. It's crazy because that juice dude. still exists. It is still there. Or who? It's like, like, a like look, uh, yeah. we're, we're, my my buddy Nick, who's on the yard, he had. Let me see. Yard goes crazy, by the way. My the brother juice loves, still exists for who? My it, brother loves the yard. Really? He fucking loves it. Shouts to Zach. Yeah, that, I mean, it's the it's the best best podcast in the game. So he Nick has a hundred and fourteen thousand followers. He Twitter. Yeah, on on Twitter, he tweets. Uh, I mean, I mean, okay, these, this is a bad example, but he, sh he's a shit poster every once in a while. Uh, and like, he'll just tweet and it'll get like 8k likes. And he has like a third of the following of like a bunch of people in call of duty. When we were playing COD back, like back when the, when the game came out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he just tweeted D 12 and has got like 3k likes, but, uh, and, and like the dream essence, well, bad time to bring those guys up they're gonna go and through it but the the minecraft people dude do you remember do you know who dream is minecraft dude you have to kind of knew of him i don't really so back in the day like him and all like this is three years ago him and like his whole group would tweet <clears throat> like hi and it would get like eighty thousand likes yeah who are those kids that like that uh, nothing against them there's Minecraft's of, cool. But dude, now they've all the thing with having a fan base like that is they'll they're 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 right. They're not ride or die. They're their community is their community and they just happen to rally around you. Yeah. But if you fuck up, it's their they will fuck you up. Like right now, there's two guys that are uh that are kind of like uh uh like getting canceled in that community squad dude it's brutal they're getting shredded to Fuck, pieces dude. they're getting shredded that's, to pieces just turn dude that's where you just fucking what do you do turn your phone off find another well, life what do you dude? do when know. you get canceled <laughs> it, well the thing is, is when somebody gets canceled you kind of figure out the real them like one of the dudes is getting canceled right now and he's like n it's not going well and he's like, really, from what I can tell, I don't really fucking, it just pops up on my phone. Yeah. But like, he's like trying to combat it. And like, he like got rid of all of his mods and put in new mods. And his new mods are like, people found out that it was actually him. So he's modding for himself and like deleting a bunch of, and like trying to like act like nothing's happening. And then like the other guy is, is like really playing into it, like twit longer. People are like, you're only, and like, if you make a twit longer, I saw the story. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, if you, if you, 
if you like make a twit longer saying that you're apologizing, <clears throat> people are like, you're only sad because you got caught. Exactly. Like, dude, like they will rip you to sh- like, dude, if you get canceled, bro, I do you do y'all have anything where you're like, damn, I probably could have gotten got for that. I have like two things where I'm like, dude, fuck really? man yeah it's not bad it's not like horrible but like if it would have if if people wouldn't have known i mean bro i've probably said some shit on stream that's what i'm saying yeah oh, that yeah. where if it was clipped and only clipped in that section oh bro same it, it's just i mean it, it's all de- obviously what i'm talking about there that guy was like fucked like yeah. he he did some fucked shit but like not it's not always like that. Whenever somebody comes out and somebody's story is like bad, usually there's a there's a there's a bad situation that happens and somebody gets canceled and then there's like a wave of people where it's like that's not really the same as what happened over here. You're just kind of like and 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 those are the situations where like you really have to figure out whether that person is actually fucked or not. I don't I don't know what I'm even talking about. Well here. the yeah, I mean, I don't know. I heard it was he cuddled the George not found or something. What's his fucking name? No, that's the second guy. The first guy, all right, we can talk about it. His name's Wilbur, and he, his ex-girlfriend came out and said that he, like, had a huge biting problem. Like, would bite unconsensually. Like all the time. Yeah, that's weird. It's it's a really yeah. strange off thing. off rip. Like, you know, like, like okay, this guy's potential to be really. Yeah. S- this story could get weird. Could get already weird. is and what, it's already fucking weird. like draw blood. Yeah, fuck. draw blood. Yeah, that's... and like she, they had a safe. She was like, okay, maybe this is just his thing. So she was like, well, we have to come up with a safe word, and then she would say the safe word, and he wouldn't stop, and then sh- he would like. He would like use the safe word like jokingly, like "Oh, you're probably if you're say I don't know what the safe word is." But yeah, that's weird. Pineapple, like "Oh, pineapple, huh?" And then chomp down even harder. That's fucking weird. Yeah. And then the other that's guy was like, "Fucking, str- it's strange shit." Me, I just I hear the story of he cuddled with the girl, and or they were cuddling for like an hour or something, one. and then he eventually like started touching her, like thinking it's like. Okay, this is about to go down. Like, we're about to hook up or something. Touching her, and she didn't like it. And then, like, I really don't even know this story. I don't know if she just, like, got up, walked away, or what. But then, like, a year later, she comes out saying he, like, sexually assaulted her. But he's saying it was not that. See, those are the ones. And then there's two sides of people saying, like, why would she be cuddling with him if she, like, wasn't ready or not if she wasn't ready, but, like, why is she cuddling with him? Like, it kind of... It's obviously going to make him think, like, oh, she's interested in me. We're in the same bed. We're touching each touching each other. Like, I can touch her. Yeah. But then, like, if he does touch her and she's like, don't touch me, then, like, that should be the end of it. Right. And, yeah. like, I don't know if that... Like, Those are the it, situations... Is it pat, did you it just go don't past know. more than that? Those like the details, man. Those you are just like, don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. You I don't have know... no idea. What... Because you, unless you're in the room, you don't know. Like it's it's a he said she said situation. Because people were saying like she's lying, he's lying. Why would she take so long? To... I had a fucking argument in my chat. What was it about? <coughs> I don't even know if I should bring this up, but someone, someone from my chat, start. It, it ended up. This person, let me think. Because at the end of the night, this person was tweeted me like 10 times and tweeted Hex saying like, why am I in the org if I'm allowing this to happen? Fuck, I can't remember. What? I can't remember what it was talking about. What? I can't even remember this. I know the subject of where we were talking about, but I forget how it went. But someone in my chat was like, if that happens to, like, half the time this shit happens to a girl, they're putting themselves in that situation. Something fucking stupid. Dude. And then 
Dude. This other person said, yeah, so I was drugged and sexually abused and it was just my fault, huh? And then they start going back and forth in my chat. And because I didn't, and I saw that and I was like, guys, we got to move on from this conversation. And I just started completely ignore what, what they were fucking arguing, arguing about in chat. And then the person was like, no, this is like, this is my truth. I'm going to stand up for myself. We can end this conversation when I want. And the, the other people just, they're trolling, the, trolling him, yeah. like talking shit to him. Cause I think it was, um, some dude who said he like got drugged and sexually abused and then I didn't like time out either of them. I just like, I was like, let's, Let it, let's move on. Yeah, I'm yeah, done yeah. with this. I'm not even gonna like, you guys are idiots, especially the one person who said like, that is half the people fault. it's their Dude. fault for putting them. I was like, you're that that's a fucking stupid thing to say. Dude. But since I didn't like time them out in my chat, the dude like went on Twitter, tweeted L like L. He was saying like L, L stream. stream. Of course, L he stream. Even take the guy of course, L so he's saying L stream. Or no, because I tweeted like W stream tonight. Like blah blah blah. Because <laughs> it was it actually was like such an amazing stream. I can't remember how we. It's bugging. It's fucking with me because I can't remember how we got into the conversation. But oh, we were talking about like someone named Kobe in 06, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I was like, was he actually good in 06? Like, people were like, fuck yeah, he averaged this much. I was like, wasn't he a stat whore? And then someone was, and then someone randomly, or someone randomly goes like, didn't Kobe rape someone? And then I was like, I think he got, like, they were trying to charge him with it. Some girl was just trying to get money out of it, and she was making up like a whole bunch of bullshit, blah blah blah. And then that's when the person was said like, yeah, half the half the people that even say they get sexually assaulted or raped, like they put themselves in that position anyway. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking idiot, dude. For when fucking say that. And then that's how the uh, I couldn't fucking remember, but that's how the whole yeah, argument that, I mean, started. No, uh, the, and then they tweeted me adding hex, and I was just like, I'm not like, gonna block dude. you, but I'm just gonna mute you. Yeah, because like this person was like hanging out in my stream the whole time, like having a good time, and then once that got brought up, they just some people just flip started. Switch. I mean, Crazy, I'm sure it, it brings back like PTSD, and but it's yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah. arguing in Twitch chat is not gonna. Like, you're not gonna change anyone's mind. Not gonna do anything. I just think it's crazy that like if anyone in the streaming space, like if you have a if you have a friend that's a female in the streaming space. 10 out of 10 times they have a stalking story they Fuck have yeah. they have a creep they have a bro a some person. of the girls i used to play fortnite with like you know the crew yeah like they all have them bro, there's they all have them yeah. and it's like and you think like your little dude. private messages to them like they're telling all their friends yeah like that you're it, it not only are there floods of people coming in trying to like hit on them or like say some like like damn nice ass i'm trying to spank that shit like they don't care about that it's the there are weirdos yeah. there are people tweeting them their address their ip numbers they're they're saying family they're gonna numbers. like hurt DM. themselves gonna, if like, they oh, don't if you don't if you don't if you don't dm me back like i'm gonna hurt myself i'm gonna send you pictures of me cutting myself like there that happens to every every female streamer yeah. every one of them. i mean them. especially in the gaming community that because is fucking absurd i feel like dude, to be in the gaming saying. community you got to be like it's a little different yeah we're like all you're a like a, weird. we're all a little weird you're like an introverted stay at home so the those type of people who end up getting into like girl streams and bro i'm sure that some of the creepiest shit happens yeah Probably I mean, at like events and shit too. Some girls well, are probably scared, like going girls to are probably events. Fucking dude, has not probably most. Yes, they're all absolutely. They all they have, have tabs to. on two to three people where it's just like, I can't. They're like, I'm not gonna go to an event if it's in Nevada because there's a guy there in Nevada who yeah. tweets me seventy times a day that lives there. Like that happens to all of them, and it's like. To to go to a and like and as some of them have been assaulted, so it's like to say that like to say that all women like just make up. Sh oh God, bro! Like someone fucking hit that guy. Like he needs to be punched. Yeah. Violence is the answer. There's a lot of. I mean, <laughs> I would have just banned bro, like I my anytime. Just like I see two of my viewers or, like argue over anything, or if I just like see like a dumb conversation that's just like two people having their own direct like argument meanwhile chat is all like they see it all 
I tell yeah. I tell my chat this all the time. I'm like, yo, like this is everyone's chat here. Like when you guys are going back and forth and shit like this, y'all could just eat just so easily just message each other directly. Like keep it up or I'm literally just going to time you out till tomorrow or some shit. I don't care what you guys Depending are talking about. Depending on how active chat is. Make my if day not, If chat's, if not, chat's active, not popping, I'll then like, let yeah, that just shit ride a little bit. Let's get some let them hash it out. streams been a little slow today. I'll let you guys argue about fucking <laughs> Trump and Biden. And... That shit, I mean, that it's got like with Hutch streaming, like his chat's never not active. Ha no, Hutch he, could have four viewers and Hutch chat has, would be popping. Yeah. A ch like a popping chat. Like, like a popping <laughs> chat. Oh, he, I don't know how one is so interested in that. I guess he's he been like that, that for a he's long been like fucking that for time. A, like, he loves that shit. Dude, he's been like, like that's that since... his stream is watching political and debates playing with and shit. Bro, I'm <laughs> like, playing Call of Duty with like, Hex. I would play Old fuck? Men of Optic with all those guys in like 20 fucking 13, 2014 and shit like that. Same guy. Same guy. Touched, like, but Fwiz was there. But Fwiz was there. <laughs> it was like me, Hector, Fwiz, Hutch. You really played with them way back then? Yeah. Damn. I'm OG, man. Don't you get you it? You kind of are. When... You know, I joined Optic before Seth, right? Damn. Yeah, because I know and you joined Optic super early. And joined back Optic. I know you joined super early and then <laughs> left super early. And then joined back. And, and then left. Uh, and then joined back. Right. Now here we are. Wait, what year, what year was that when you joined? I probably Dude, I was asked like, you. I was like 14 or 15, man. So crazy. What year was that? Like 20 fucking 11. Mm -mm. Fuck. Do y'all have any random duo stories where you're just like, y'all ended up together in a random place and you're like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Because Pam and I. Us? Me yeah, and him? Because and Pam. Uh. Pam and I randomly one night in Australia ended up, well, we, we roomed together, but also we had the night where like I almost got into a fight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Pam and I stayed up until like 5 a.m. at a casino and it's just such a random night. Dude, we're across the planet. Like, think just across the planet. We're in this, what looks like Chicago, but everything's backwards. We're in Melbourne, Australia. Wait, what? Are the, what, like the roads and shit? Yeah, Melbourne, Australia looks like exactly like Chicago, backwards? but everything's just I can, just like, backwards. actually imagine It's that. so accurate of a description, dude. It just looks just like Chicago, except it's not as cold and everything's backwards. And, and we're just like walking around trying to pick up girls and we don't get any but we end up trying Bro, to that fight. was the that was scuff house right there <laughs> that was yeah. scuff house yeah. that was Bro, scuff the house. amount of like i had no riz and i don't know what it was because like oh if they didn't I like swear, gaming, bro, like, I once i got over. muscles and tattoos like it became a lot easier and i don't know I mean, if like I and i don't know if i just got more confident more confident Less so my crack. riz got better i stopped like looking like i cared or something or i mean i was also a skinny crackhead freak so mm -hmm. i mean that could have had something to do with it mm -hmm. but i swear like you were also a little cocky back then was i yeah i remember you remember you and ava had a thing or and you didn't I mean, have a thing i remember ava we a didn't have a thing oh yeah the whole everyone you just like publicly tried to tried to like talk to her yeah then i at an event she comes up to me and she was like you know i actually would have gone on a date with nick if he would have ever asked me and i was like he never asked you she was like no like he just tweeted at me well that lot. yeah because I, <laughs> I, <was just, like, laughs> I just had no riz it was like nick just thought like that was your i had no riz i'm <laughs> thinking get riz, drunk though. at hotel go back to my room because <laughs> i'm just like a dumb fucking loser that yeah, was your riz bro i actually it's I feel, it's yeah. funny you mentioned that i actually read and i don't know how this came up maybe i was like looking at youtube or twitter and pokimane popped up and i was like chat actually or i don't know how it came up but i was like i actually tried de like talking to pokimane no and shot. like dming her back in like 2017 and i was like reading some of my dms and it was Did she respond yeah she like would friend friendly respond but I would be like, she could have invested, man. She would ignore Boy. the part about seeing me and like answer of like, yeah, they played really good music at this <laughs> like, because it was at like TwitchCon. <laughs> like it'd be like, where That's are you so at? Good. Let's get or you you want to get drinks later or something? Yeah. And then she would just say, like, I'm at a. She would ignore the you want to get drinks later, and she would just say, like, I'm at this TwitchCon party. They're playing and like she was like friendly, but it was just. 
At least she let you down. She let you down easy. Reading the DMs, it was just like, like I could imagine her showing those DMs to someone, and then the other person just being like, "Ew, what no, the?" No, I mean, I unless you said some crazy shit, I don't think so. No, it wasn't no crazy shit. It's it was Pokemon, just like, like her, that's probably what her DMs. Like are I like, like saved a picture. It's probably been like that for her, fucking her, her DMs years, have been like, yeah, you're, it, it wasn't nothing crazy years. at all. It was just like total L Riz. <laughs> <laughs> okay she, nowadays she could probably go back and be like damn look at nick <laughs> bro, but like it was, when it was happening probably not bro the amount That's of times so we would go out to like i thought you were I about mean, to tell me you were like spammed her dms and she never responded I no like, she she responded she was suck. we had a few conversations but i don't think she was ever interested i don't even know if i was interested it just Probably just like a horny bastard or something. <laughs> <laughs> but like back in back in the scuff house, it was like the amount of times, dude. Scuff house was different. The amount though. of times we like, we would like we go living, out, we just were so no girls, we were, bro. Like we would try to get girls, and then it would be the same four girls that would come <laughs> over. <laughs> oh my god! Was... I would walk in, and I'd be like. They're in the kitchen. Yeah. In the kitchen. <laughs> all four of them were there. And I'm like. There's a uh, bottle of Tito's in the middle of the aisle. <laughs> I would like get done streaming or wake up at 9, 10 p.m. I hear a noise downstairs. Yeah. And remember there would be. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. There was Mike, his girl, and then yep. his girl had a best friend. Yep. I know exactly. And I and I, she would come over. She really <laughs> liked she really liked me. It was just funny. Yeah. She really liked me, but like I was was not interested in her until but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not going to explain. But she was really interested in me and like Mike's girl would come over and then I'd like I would just hear her downstairs and I'm like God, I'd be so fucking pissed. I'd hear like a little tap on my door. I have to like open, conversate, like, Dude, and that that Scott that just turned crazy. into that would happen like once a fucking week at that. Point. That probably that's probably like frat house stories. It's like what happened? Dude, we we had a party one time, and there was a girl that I don't know her name. No one could stand her. She would like. Go up to all of us that live there and like, I think she thought it was like playful, but she would just like be like, damn, you're tall. Like to you. And it'd be like, so what? You would just play video games where you're just a nerd all the time. And we would be like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do here. Get the fuck out and of And she house. did that to everyone. <laughs> Wait, really? And then she like did it to me and I was like, all right. Like, all right, I'm going to bed. And then she I'm has in dog bed. shit Riz. If that's what she's doing, I'm in, that's what she's girls, doing. girls have dog shit Riz. Yeah, dog shit she don't riz need any so don't riz. Riz. You don't need to As like, a female, you need zero Riz. If you could actually have her, negative Riz, and it wouldn't matter. If that's her, like, you know, like, oh, let me become friendly with these guys, we're immediately fucking annoyed. Oh, yeah. Like, like we're like, don't do that. But we'll also, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, fine. But, yeah. like, but you like, know, you're not going to kill And I'm just, I'm just laying. And this is still what I'm living in. I mean, I'm still saying. We staying. actually fucking hate you. <laughs> but you can hang if, like. I'm, uh, I'm sitting. Um, this is when I'm still in, like, the closet. So I'm sleeping in, like, the little office. And then the door, like, pops open. Remember how the door used to pop open? And like I was like expecting it to be one of you guys, like yo, Jim or Shake Shack, Jersey Mike's, and it's her, and she just comes in, closes the door, and gets in the bed. I'd be like, fuck yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> what the? And so I'm just laying there with this girl who was like, I had been shit talking all night, and then she falls asleep, and I was like, so I went to sleep, and then when I woke up, she was gone, never saw her again. And I was like, what the f like what? Yeah. That was the scuff house. That's a fucking and she's weird probably, ass She's probably man. married now. I, I couldn't tell you I couldn't even remotely tell you married, what she looks kids. like, who her what her name is. <clears throat> you know, when the house was so weird. When you were when you were talking, uh, when you were saying like I gotta talk to her now. Gotta do this little rounds of conversate. I think it's kinda kinda nice now, like looking at you two. And like I'm in the same boat too, but like, you know, we all kind of got someone. Yeah, 
You know what I mean? Like we actually definitely much different. We actually oh, can like so fucking so much better. It's actually someone that I like. You know what oh, I mean? Like it's just. Better, I don't know, man. I'm not like stressed. Imagine being single around. right now. Like I'm not. I'm not like. Suck. Stre- like I I get to go home. You got a Canadian girl. She's there with the dogs, do. and it's just. She's uh she's a she's a a ballet a ballet teacher ballet teacher. Good for her. Yeah. Yeah. What's our future is gonna be? Kids. I got reminded of that last night. Give me a baby. <laughs> so I was like, fuck. Am so I gonna funny. have a? Cause I am getting up there. Yep. Are we gonna have kids soon. Anytime I think about Let's this, dude. Let's all plan it together. I'm tr- That'd be I've awesome. Been, don't don't cap on camera. I've been trying to. I've been trying to plan with you for a while. We all just and you are the one holding back. I am holding back. I'm scared. I'm fucking scary. I'm Pam. You gonna have a kid soon? He's like another. Probably had. <laughs> Pam's probably got <laughs> some. Oh, some skeletons in that back closet. in Canada. <laughs> he's got a fucking yeah right. He's got a five year old right now. Right. You're fucking right. <laughs> One day we're all going to have I mean, kids. We are. I mean, the feeling, man. Like, I don't, I don't know the feeling, but, like, you know, the hockey, the hockey team that I sponsor, like, this is my sixth year doing that. And, like, I've seen those kids, like, 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 like I've seen those kids be, like, 11, 12 years old playing in that hockey tournament, like, years ago. Remember the fucking first jersey you got? Bro, those kids, like, six of them oh, aged, six or seven of them aged out this year. Like they're done. They're done playing hockey yeah. in that tournament now. Those were your kids. Those were those were like those are my those are my guys. And it's it was so awesome to go to the, back to Canada and to I love going to that tournament at least once a year because I used to play in that tournament. And this time we went all the way to like the A championship, which is like that's the main thing. And midget midget U eighteen midget rec midget in that tournament is like the biggest thing. Like that's what has the most. The biggest crowd, dude. They yeah, the to use that word. <laughs> Midget U18. Very <laughs> common, Canadian, very yeah, common yeah, term yeah. in the hockey world. Yeah, okay. people turn Cancel me, me please. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> people people have been telling me, because, you know, this is basically a therapy session as, as well as my, my streams. People are like, man, you just need a kid. And I'm like, are you sure? I think but you maybe, got a few, man, I think you got I, like a two or three steps before that. You got the house already. Got the house. That's, you got the dog got already. The, dude, the house is like I think those are the steps. You like, got the house. house you just dog. need the kid to put the you know, like I now know. I just need kid. You would get a crazy dad buff. I know I know for a fucking fact you would. I would use that kid for views. <laughs> <laughs> like on stream. Five gifted or like five gifted, you can see the baby. Five gifted, no breakfast. <laughs> five gifted or no breakfast. No, I'm just five kidding. gifted, change diaper. I think a kid would. I don't know because people people like will tweet me or type in my chat and be like, "Man, I, I like felt the same way." Because now I feel like I'm at such a steady place where it's like I do the same shit every day. It's pretty much gym stream, and then if I have content, I do content. Yeah. But besides that, it's like. I feel like I'm like missing something, like some sort of like excitement. I well, guess. Well, maybe you maybe. just. What if you just rent one, see if you like it, then go. That's for what it. I did with try my baby, fucking dog. Yeah, and just hated try babysitting, it, but then we man. Kept him anyway. Just try babysitting. Uh, see, I've like I've hardly even held a kid. Like I don't like kids. You don't but if, but you if don't only. Kids? I don't like other people's kids. Like when I see Holly and Bella walking around, like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I saw her. I saw Bella <laughs> here the other day walking around. I just fucking and we'd see each other. We'd be like, "Hello," like the in the like, most hi. like yeah. But no, I'm. I used to get pissed, I'm joking, I used to get pissed but at Bella. also like it, I don't. I when don't, Bella was like two, I would like be with her and Damon, and like Bella and I would be like you know shooting the shit, and then like. They would leave and then like come back like two weeks later and I'd be like, "What's up, Bella?" And she'd be like, "Who are you?" And I'm like, "You not remember two weeks ago we hung out? How do you forget already?" 
Is it because you're two? Bro, I, used to, I would forget family members when I was a kid. Like, I didn't give a shit. Just in your own little world. But I think if it was my kid, it'd be different. I like, hope as so. long as they look like me a little bit, yeah. Like, I'd be like, like that's mine. That's me. That's me right there. That's a little. That's a little. I feel like that's like a came crazy out of my sack right feeling. there. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like that'd be a crazy feeling, like looking at just a mini you. Mm. And then get on the dad streamer grind, 5 a.m. with apathy and slacked. <laughs> I see they changed their titles to Scump Waiting Room. Where'd they get that from? Probably everyone. But oh, I yeah. don't know. Maybe that's the you. maybe that's next up. I don't know. Yep. Y'all y'all ain't got no plans for kids soon? Uh yeah, it's Gonna be yeah. soon. <laughs> I gotta, it has to be it has soon. To be soon. <laughs> I mean, it's within the next two years. Sam's like, I don't know. I like sniping. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. I think got two. Pam's more of a real lifer than me. Probably. Well, he's hanging out with the midget team. <laughs> He's, of course he is. He's a, uh, I actually do shit. Yeah. Outside of I, this shit. I don't. Wait, what I do, do a lot of shit in this shit. No, no, I no, don't no. Do I'm not saying anyone here doesn't do a lot of shit. I was just, I was literally just saying I that. Say, just no, I'm just, no, it's just cool that you do a lot of shit outside of this shit. I don't do a lot of shit outside of the shit. I do a lot of shit in the shit. I, I'm looking I for a more lot of shit, shit to do the in shit. this shit, I, but I enjoy shit out of the shit out of the shit. You know, I fucking like outside of this shit. What, what shit do you like outside of this shit? Hockey shit. Hockey. Midget, midget shit. <laughs> hockey. Midget hockey shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. I bet that is exciting to watch. <laughs> <It> is. <laughs> ballet, ballet shit. He likes ballet shit. Ballet shit. Ballet shit. Weed ballet shit. Weed ballet shit. Hard. Weed shit. Weed shit. You still love weed shit? I still fuck with the weed shit, man. Love that weed shit. When did you get into weed shit? Em Scuff shit? Embos. Oh my god. god! I still, I, I wish literally I still, not even kidding you. This is. <laughs> I wish I still love that a, shit. A microphone, make a podcast. I wish I still love that shit. I'm man. actually Native American, but you know it's all good. Okay. You don't identify. <laughs> what do you identify as? Have you? Do you know my dude? Brown. I, Austin Wasson, a pay was Pamajuan. That is a Native American name. I know you're no, Native we American. Know. I'm Thank you. Half Thank Native, you. Half we Midian. get it. You. You're tall. You don't pay taxes. That's just so nice. What, what are you? You've been saying that <laughs> since Krim has said that in the skull dude. Delusional. So you don't identify as white? There's a yeah, I'm like twenty five percent white. Hey, you're like are you brown. You can say it. You can say the C word. Fuck. Oh. Jagnosh? I meant cracker. No, Jagnosh means white man in Ojibwe. Mm. So fucking Jagnosh. Jagnosh. No, trust me, I've been saying that for years, man. <laughs> Same. So have I, trust. I've been saying that for years. Mm -mm. Trust. Well, boys, is there anything else going on? Anything you need to get off your chest before we get out of here? What a crazy fly. Shouts out the COD team. Shouts, Shouts, out, COD team. Shouts out the Halo, Halo team, team, sort of. Shouts to the GGCS, man. GGCS. Shouts to the GGCS Yeah, who's guy. going home with this? You don't want it? I'm bringing it home. You don't want it? I'll, take, can, it, I'll take it back home. We put it on set, man. We take out those. Fuck that set. There. We put it there. It'll fit perfect. That's fine. Or do I can I keep want... it here for a bit, man. Who's esports do award I want it? That? That's Seth's esports award up there. Is that yours? Do you no, know? mine's on nah, the man, bar. you can take this, man. I, I, I think you need this. You deserved it. You played better than me. I also streamed. You streamed, That's you played true. well. Yeah, you take it home, actually. You carried a little bit. Well, first, you made, so, you made good plays. I want to see if it fits, because it looks perfect. That trophy's all yours, but I appreciate you bringing it in I for this episode of the Flycast. Episode, <laughs> I don't know what it was. 106. 106. 106. Like the but appreciate y'all tuning in, man. That's going to do it. Meathead, play that outro music. 